ఈ వీడియోలో మనం రియాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ యాసిడ్స్ విత్ మెటల్ కార్బనేట్స్ అండ్ మెటల్ హైడ్రోజన్ కార్బనేట్స్ అనే దాని గురించి డిస్కస్ చేద్దాం హైడ్రోక్లోరిక్ యాసిడ్ వెన్ ఇట్ రియాక్ట్స్ విత్ సోడియం కార్బనేట్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ సోడియం కార్బనేట్ అనేది వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మెటల్ కార్బనేట్స్ ఓకే అండ్ వీఆర్ ఆల్సో గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ వెన్ హైడ్రోక్లోరిక్ యాసిడ్ రియాక్ట్స్ విత్ సోడియం బై కార్బనేట్ సోడియం బై కార్బనేట్ అనేది వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మెటల్ హైడ్రోజన్ కార్బనేట్ ఓకే ఈ వీడియో చివరి వరకు చూడండి సో దాట్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ వెల్ లెట్ ఎస్ ఫస్ట్ స్టార్ట్ విత్ రియాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ యాసిడ్స్ విత్ మెటల్ కార్బనేట్స్ యాసిడ్స్ అనగానే మనకి గుర్తొచ్చేవి హైడ్రోక్లోరిక్ యాసిడ్ సల్ఫ్యూరిక్ యాసిడ్ నైట్రిక్ యాసిడ్ ఎక్స్ట్రా రైట్ అండ్ మెటల్ కార్బనేట్స్ అంటే ఏంటి మెటల్స్ అనగానే యూ నో సోడియం ఈజ్ ఎ మెటల్ మెగ్నీషియం ఈజ్ ఎ మెటల్ క్యాల్షియం ఈజ్ ఎ మెటల్ రైట్ అండ్ కార్బనేట్స్ అంటే సివో త్రీ టూ మైనస్ ఈజ్ ద కార్బనేట్ గ్రూప్ ఓకే సో మెటల్ కార్బనేట్స్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు బీ సోడియం కార్బనేట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎన్ఏ టూ సివో త్రీ క్యాల్షియం కార్బనేట్స్ సిఏ సివో త్రీ మెగ్నీషియం కార్బనేట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎంజీ సివో త్రీ ఎక్స్ట్రా నౌ వీ వాంట్ టు సి వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ వెన్ యాసిడ్స్ రియాక్ట్ విత్ మెటల్ కార్బనేట్ when acids react with metal carbonates they produce a salt water and carbon dioxide ikkada salt ante man common salt e avvalsina avasaram ledhu okay it has to be something to do with the metal we use ikkada we are taking let's say na2co3 so sodium ki sambandhinchina salt form avutundi calcium carbonate teeskunnam ankonde calcium ki sambandhinchina salt form avutundi మెగ్నీషియం తీసుకున్నాం అనుకోండి మెగ్నీషియం సంబంధించిన సాల్ట్ ఫామ్ అవుతుంది ఓకే నా యు నో దాట్ మెటల్ కార్బనేట్స్ రియాక్ట్ విత్ యాసిడ్స్ టు ప్రొడ్యూస్ ఎ సాల్ట్ వాటర్ అండ్ కార్బన్ డైఆక్సైడ్ దీన్ని టెక్స్ట్ ఫామ్లో ఈక్వేషన్గా రాసామనుకోండి యూ గెట్ ఎన్ ఈక్వేషన్ లైక్ దిస్ మెటల్ కార్బనేట్ ప్లస్ యాసిడ్ టుగెదర్ వెన్ ద రియాక్ట్ యూ విల్ గివ్ యూ విల్ గెట్ ఎ సాల్ట్ వాటర్ అండ్ కార్బన్ డైఆక్సైడ్ right now i have a question what happens when hydrochloric acid is added to sodium carbonate sodium carbonate anedi white powdery substance hydrochloric acid undi when you mix these two what happens a chemical reaction takes place to form sodium chloride water and carbon dioxide gas you see sodium chloride is the salt here ఎందుకు సోడియం కార్బనేట్ అనే దాంతో హైడ్రోక్లోరిక్ యాసిడ్ రియాక్ట్ అవుతుంది కాబట్టి వీఆర్ గెటింగ్ ఎ సాల్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ సోడియం క్లోరైడ్ మనం టేస్ట్ కోసం వాడే సాల్ట్ ఏదైతే ఉందో అదే వస్తుంది ఈ రియాక్షన్లో అండ్ దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ వాటర్ అండ్ కార్బన్ డైఆక్సైడ్ గ్యాస్ ఫార్మింగ్ రైట్ సో లెట్స్ రైట్ ద కెమికల్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఫర్ దిస్ సోడియం కార్బనేట్ ఈజ్ ఎన్ఏ టూ సివో త్రీ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రియాక్టింగ్ విత్ హైడ్రోక్లోరిక్ యాసిడ్ టూ హెచ్సిఎల్ giving rise to 2 nacl plus h2o plus co2 co2 is going to leave this reaction vessel and h2o is there and you have nacl in aqueous form hcl is in aqueous form and na2 co3 is salt solid to begin with right and h2o is liquid right this reaction is exothermic reaction exothermic ante meaning enti when the reaction happens the heat is getting released the reaction jarugutunte heat is getting released that's why you can say plus q also okay now i have a question how to perform this experiment in your laboratory to perform this experiment in your laboratory you need following materials we need a test tube a test tube lo we put some amount of sodium carbonate powder and we have to mix hcl dilute hydrochloric acid into it we need a cork with two holes punched into it for covering this test tube and we need a funnel okay to pour hcl acid into the test tube and we have a delivery tube 
via that delivery tube the carbon dioxide gas escapes right once you have carbon dioxide gas coming out let's say you want to test what gas is coming out if if you know that hydrogen gas is coming out then what you are doing is you are using a burning candle to test right in the case of co2 gas what people typically do is they use caoh twice that is called lime water or milk of lime that solution they use to test to keep that solution we need a test tube so when you have all these things are ready and set up you get a system like this let's say to begin with you take a test tube and pour some amount of na2co3 into it and fix this cork okay and then insert this funnel into it one of the holes of the cork and insert this delivery tube also into the cork okay now then what are you going to do you are going to pour some amount of hcl from this funnel okay then the reaction happens once the reaction happens you have co2 gas coming out right then bring this test tube containing caoh twice and connect that with the delivery tube okay this is how we are going to conduct the experiment to begin with what we are going to do we are going to take 0.5 grams of sodium na2co3 this is sodium carbonate in a test tube take 0.5 grams of na2co3 in a test tube and then add 2 ml of dilute hcl to it we are doing that via this funnel right then what happens reaction happens so na2co3 reacts with hcl to form nacl that is salt and h2o that is water and co2 gas this co2 gas is passed through the lime water that goes via this delivery tube right when this enters the lime water what happens co2 gas is reacting with lime water to form caco3 please note this in the mundu hydrogen gas kind of scenario like you get a pop sound and then that test is done but here the co2 gas coming out of this delivery tube is reacting with caoh twice caoh twice solution that is called lime water to form caco3 and take calcium carbonate form out you see once you have this calcium carbonate in this test tube what happens is the solution turns to milky white the reason is caco3 is a white precipitate adhavainda deeniki reaction equation raser ankonde chemical equation it is going to be caoh twice plus co2 giving rise to caco3 plus h2o h2o is a liquid caco3 is precipitate okay and co2 is gas and cac caoh twice is aqueous meaning it is dissolved in water right now the question is for example i have taken very little amount of caoh twice in this but the reaction is still happening and co2 gas is still coming then what happens is it going to stop here or something else happens to answer that question you can say that on passing excess amount of co2 there exist further reaction that reaction is given here meaning already you have caco3 formed right and that caco3 is going to react with the excess co2 coming in and you have already water present in this test tube right this all put together form CaHCO3 twice this is called sodium sorry calcium bicarbonate so what is happening on passing excess amount of CO2 the following reaction takes place to form colorless 
calcium bicarbonate okay calcium bicarbonate is going to dissolve in water that's why it is in aqueous form this is h2o is going to be in liquid form and this is gas and cacio3 is solid right we said that that is a precipitate right you understood the original reaction we are interested in is this na2co3 reacting with 2hcl giving rise to 2nacl plus h2o plus co2 right and when you wanted to test the carbon dioxide which is being released out of this reaction we were using caoh twice solution right that caoh twice solution is going to react with co2 to form cacio3 that is calcium carbonate and water calcium carbonate is going to precipitate for that reason you have the solution turning to milky white because the precipitate is in white in color now depending upon amount of caoh twice solution you have taken here it may stop here right for example some amount of excess co2 is getting released all the caoh twice is already converted to cacio3 let's say but you have excess co2 coming out that co2 is going to react with cacio3 to give you calcium bicarbonate understood now let us discuss about reaction of acids with metal hydrogen carbonate as we said earlier acids are gonna hcl h2so4 hno3 ela different acids gurtostayi right and metal hydrogen carbonates ante you have metals and hydrogen carbonates are hco3 okay metals are gonna you have sodium you have magnesium you have calcium right so let's write what are the metal hydrogen carbonates those are also called metal bicarbonates metal hydrogen carbonates are metal bicarbonates for example nahco3 this is sodium bicarbonate cahco3 twice this is calcium bicarbonate and mghco3 twice this is magnesium bicarbonate you can have few more bicarbonates metal bicarbonates okay when acids react with metal hydrogen carbonate what happens metal bicarbonates or metal hydrogen carbonates react with acids to produce a salt water and carbon dioxide gas mir chuste products lo metal carbonates tho reaction aina acids ki metal bicarbonates tho reaction aina you have products as salt water and carbon dioxide right please note this metal hydrogen carbonate plus acid giving rise to a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide gas right now i have a question what happens when hydrochloric acid is added to sodium bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate is sodium hydrogen carbonate and good antam right metal hydrogen carbonate right a chemical reaction takes place to form sodium chloride water and carbon dioxide gas we can write a chemical equation for this that is going to be nahco3 plus hcl giving rise to nacl plus h2o plus co2 here co2 is gas h2o is liquid and nacl is going to dissolve in water that's why it is aqueous hcl is aqueous right nahco3 to begin with it is solid right this reaction is also an exothermic reaction it means heat is getting released okay during the reaction now i have a question how to perform this experiment into mundu experiment exact ga ela chesamo we are going to do the same way all we need is we need a test tube and sodium bicarbonate powder dilute hydrochloric acid a cork with two holes and we need a funnel to drop hcl into this test tube 
and then we need a delivery tube via which CO2 gas passes out and CaOH twice solution in a test tube for testing purpose. Okay, when you set up the system, it is going to be like this. Right? You have a test tube fitted with a funnel and delivery tube using a cork that has got two holes. Right? You take NaHCO3 into this test tube and pour HCl acid. Right? And then reaction happens, CO2 comes out, right? And we want to test whether coming gas is CO2 or not with the help of CaOH twice solution. So to begin with, we'll take 0.5 grams of NaHCO3 in a test tube and add 2 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid. Then the reaction takes place, right? NaHCO3 is going to react with HCl to form NaCl, H2O, and CO2 gas. This CO2 gas is going to pass via this delivery tube into the lime water that is CaOH twice solution. Now, whether CO2 gas comes out or not, how do you know? Of course, you know, there will be bubbles forming here. And second thing is, the CO2 is going to react with lime water to form CaCO3, which is a white precipitate. That turns the solution to milky white. Ante in the mundu CaOH twice on the kada solution, the milky white mark. Okay? And the reaction happening is here. CaOH twice reacts with CO2, giving rise to CaCO3. This is calcium carbonate and H2O. Right? Now, if I have little more reaction, little more sodium bicarbonate is there and HCl is also there, they are still reacting. But already, all of CaOH twice is already converted to CaCO3. Now what happens? When you have this excess amount of CO2 coming out of this test tube, that CO2 is going to react with CaCO3. And passing X amount of CO2, the following reaction happens, meaning it is going to react with CaCO3 and water present in this test tube, giving rise to CaHCO3 twice. This is calcium bicarbonate. Understood? Calcium bicarbonate is a colorless solid, but that dissolves that dissolves in water. That's why it is going to be aqueous. Okay. CO2 is a gas, H2O is a liquid, and CaCO3 is a solid. Understood? 